junk out. I'm back up here at the cat job today. Got the saw down yesterday. Got my other job. And I'm gonna try to get this mess out. I've recruited my dad to come up here. He's gonna put in kind of a little, it's a sprinkler system, but he's not doing like the clock and stuff. He's just gonna have manual valves out there next to the house. He's gonna try to get that in or I can get that dirt spread. I'm gonna try to finish up some stuff with the excavator and then maybe Monday just kind of have some grading and the base rock left. So that is my update for now. We'll see. I told him if his tree sure wasn't gonna go through all that junk, I can either use this or the 12 inch bucket. I'm not really sure how this. Uh, It's not, I don't know, this piece sticking up isn't big, but it looks like there could have been a bigger tree here at one time. Maybe not. I don't know why it's all mounded up, unless there's just a pile of junk there. It could just be a pile of rocks, maybe. Looks like there's a big stump in here. There's more of a stump. Or it may be one of those where it's like two or three little stumps.
interesting piece, that's for sure. It's kind of a neat idea for like a shaded area, like the little chairs or something underneath there. But I may actually try to take the bucket off and throw a chain around that frame on the top. Up one. I can run the loader down here and stand on top of it to hook the chain up. Well, we got a fair amount of stuff done here today. We got the yard put in pretty much. I think we're talking about getting maybe one more load of dirt because this stuff is like an inch thick over all this rock. Wells over there, we tied in the water line over here and he didn't want to mess with the clock or a backflow or none of that stuff. So it's just kind of on a, just a manual, just a valve over here you just open up. He's got two shutoffs there and you just kind of flip one of those valves and one of them will do the first four heads and the other one will do the, the second four heads. And then those uh, uh, those valves that I showed you there at the end, when it gets ready at the winter time, you can just crack those things open and that'll drain those lines out. But it's kind of a cheap uh, makeshift sprinkler, but he didn't care to have a backflow and clock and all that other stuff where it's automated and no bigger than it is. And I think he's gonna talk about putting Bermuda sod down so it won't require as much water. Now he's gonna have grass to these trees. That's what he kind of uses uh, the border there. And then all the rest of this is just gonna be rock. So I think we're gonna base rock the rest of it. And then I kind of got this corner cleaned up because he's wanting to, whoever built this or worked on it before, I got the bottom of the building. It's probably eight inches up on the siding so i started tearing these trees out i'm gonna kind of cut that and then i need to get done in there next week and kind of rake off that backside and probably have to dig even more of that out because it's there's nowhere for the water to go except for in the building now hopefully monday finish rough grading that and possibly start getting some of the base rock if not it'll be tuesday but we can get the rock up there and then the drive will come down through here basically the main drive will be kind of from where i'm standing just straight out there and then this one's going to kind of snake in between these trees and go to that door but then everything from the building down to those two trees uh will be base rock as well and then i think in the back he's going to do like four feet of base rock just along the back of the building and then everything else will just kind of go back to nature he can mow it tall or brush hog it or whatever he wants to do but 
it's kind of shaping up so I, I really cleaned it up getting that dirt out of the way in the front then i got the satellite dish thing that was like i said i think they're going to try to turn it into a chicken coop but that's where it went and there's a bunch of concrete there so i got it broke out and then he wanted to kind of extend this bank which is where i put part of the concrete i'm going to fill that in a little bit more we may end up taking this little cedar tree out and then try to shape this a little bit uh monday too i think i'm gonna put a new culvert in the end because that one's junk it's completely full and it's all busted up and i think one of the concrete trucks backed off the other and it's plastic and i'm probably just gonna put another plastic one back in there yeah that's where we're kind of at for now so it's uh slowly shaping up so a couple more days gotta have it knocked out and then he can uh, get his side and get the water in that